Right, another weekend, dominantly chasing deer yet again. We've got a valley I've seen deer in before, or stags. Yeah, we'll just see how it pans out and hopefully we have a bit of luck. Right, we'll catch you out there. Heading up the hill, taking the Red Express. So after getting a cracker stag, we um, we found another one, um, and it might be the biggest free-range stag I've ever put eyes on, um, but only antlers at about 300, so it's just a waiting game, hoping the fog clears, and Matt's going to put a shot on it. Hope it pays off. Pretty cool shot. Matt's just waiting for the stag to come out.
Yes. Yes. You f***ing ripper. What a cracker. Oh, that's a stonker. Yes. What a shot. For a shot. The rest of the deer are on their way out of there. Tell them to shoot that no antlers. That's Congratulations. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. Happy lad. Happy lad, all right. He looks pretty good up close, eh? Hey? Yeah, man. Nice thick timber. See, 13 points. Happy with that. Nice tops. Pretty even, too, apart from that bottom second point up. Got a bit of age, Tom, too, bro. Yeah, he's getting on a bit. What do you reckon he'd go? Six years, seven years? Potentially. Not a, not, not a stag aging expert, but he's big enough to die. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. You said it. I can edit that shit out. Like it looks cool on the camera. <laughs> Getting this big fella set up for a photo. Um, beautiful shot there by Matthew Smith. He uh, certainly made it pay today. He's a um, real nice dag. Wicked big chunky tops. Waited very patiently for this guy to come out. How many hours do you reckon, Matt? Oh, it was three o'clock, I think, so five. Five hours. five hours. Drizzle, pretty cold. Stupidly left our puffer jackets back at the bike. But we got the treats. He's cool. Time for a well earned feed. Get a coffee, hopefully, with the water that's left. Get that going while Matt's busy skinning out the Stagosaurus. It's good to finally be on board. We've been, we've been doing a fair bit of mahi. Uh, try and find a mature animal and finally it's paid off. She's a precarious load. Uh, I think uh, Matt is now realizing that shooting the stag is only part of the job. So, uh, making our way up the hill. Matt's having a tough time of it. Uh, hopefully, the track's not too far up here. Be another 500 meters or something. And we'll drop the, drop the gear, walk around to the quad, which is probably another K, and then come and pick it all up. By which time I'd say it's gonna be well and truly dark. But everything is awesome.
so our short walk up to the track was a bit bigger than what we expected and it wasn't a track so uh, everything took a bit longer but we finally finally got the bike to the gear which is the main thing Just back here at the truck, and yeah, 13 pointers looking pretty prominent in the back of the Ranger. Big day, eh, Luke? Good day, though. Making fun. Nice tag. Real nice tag. Bike's done well. It's bloody good. So, uh, talk us through the weapon that you've been doing the damage with lately there Matt? Um, well this is a 708 Tika with a DPT suppressor and a VX3 dial up um, 14 power scope yeah so no it's good got it all sorted at the range and just click and pull the trigger and things seem to be dying lately which is quite good. Yes. What yeah. sort of uh, pill are you throwing at the end of it mate? Uh, it's a 145 grainer Horn 80 EDOX. Sure it's not a 150? No. Is it a 145? Yeah. Ah, okay. I thought they were 150s. Well I could be you might have to edit that bit because I'm not sure. <laughs> you put doubt into my. <laughs> I, I could be wrong too, but I, I yeah. sort of feeling the 150s out of the they might be. They might be, but yeah. Um, so you've um, bastardised it a bit with the barrel there, haven't you? You've uh, made it made it a, a bit bush, bush piggy. Yeah, yeah. I, I can show you. So. so we're not running a lot of barrel here. So those so, 300 metre long shots are probably quite long shots for this particular weapon because there's not much there. Yeah. I wouldn't say the bullets are travelling real quick but they seem to be dropping things so. And it's nice to carry in the bush and around the hill so. Pretty. It's compromised isn't it? Yeah. I don't think I'd be... You know, I'm pretty comfortable at 300, but 400's a bit of a stretch. Yes. So, locking it all the way. And, uh... Yeah, pretty well ready. Bike strapped on. And, uh... Just about good to... Bit of track. 